Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is kind of be kind of an update uh, on the status of the Red Mustang. As you can see, I, I did a, a, a video earlier uh, that was called I'm Selling uh, My 04 Mustang GT. But as you can see, I still have it. So um, I just thought I'd do a little update on the status of, uh, of this Mustang. Uh, I've kind of at a standstill uh, when I when I did that video it generated a lot of interest but uh, a lot of people didn't uh, a lot of people just didn't give me what I wanted for it so and uh, it's not like I'm desperate for money uh, it's just we have a, a terrible parking situation here uh, with all the vehicles that we have around this place so uh, that was the main reason why I was going to sell it and uh, so I'm decided I'm just going to kind of hold on to it for a while uh, I have a uh, my daughter's boyfriend has a house with a three-car garage and he said I could store it there so I'm gonna store it there that's uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna keep it in storage for now and just kind of hold on to it uh, I really like this Mustang anyway and it was gonna be hard for me to see it go I put a lot of work into it fixing it up and uh, so uh, it's gonna be difficult when I finally do let it go one of these days anyway so I'm not desperate to sell it so I'm gonna hold on to it file for a while but one thing that I did forget is that uh, the passenger side uh, front seat seat belt is messed up so I bought a seat belt so that's what I'm gonna to do tonight I'm gonna to put this seat belt in there and I'm gonna try and shoot video of it on how I go about doing that and uh, um, I have done this before, but it's been a long time, so I'm gonna kind of have to uh, kind of relearn how I how I did it. But uh, it takes a uh, it takes a number 45 Torx bit uh, to get it out of there. So, but you have to take out the back seat and the trim. So I'm gonna shoot video of that and. Um, and so if you guys uh, need to put a seatbelt in, you'll kind of have an idea about, you'll kind of have an idea on how, how to go about it. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay. The first thing you have to do, and to do that right in the center here, there's a button underneath here. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to find and you gotta push that button and then pull up on the seat. There, okay. And then the seat will start to come up. And so you gotta do the same over here, find that button. Sometimes it can be kinda hard to find down in here. And then you pull the seat up. You gotta get your seat belts here to poke through those holes. Just poke them through and then the seat comes right out. Okay, get the seat out of here and we'll go on to the next step. What you're looking at there, there is that white piece. And uh, that is the button that you have to push uh, to get the back seat out. You can see it's kind of in the center of the seat and you push that in and that releases the seat so you can get the seat out. Okay, the next thing we gotta do using a, I'm using a trim tool. You could probably use a screwdriver too, but trim tools are less likely to scar up your trim. I gotta take this piece out right here. Try and pop that up. And it just kind of unsnaps. It's got a bunch of snaps all along here. Get that out. See, see it just, just clips in place in some places here, several places. So you get that up out of your way, and now we can go on to the next step. Okay, the next thing we gotta do is we gotta get this uh, this off right here uh, to expose the torque screw that's underneath that. So. I'm gonna pop that off with this uh, trusty uh, trim tool. Just like that, and now we can get to that torque screw right there. 
Okay, on to the next step. Okay, the next thing we gotta do is we gotta get this Torx bit down here. Now, this is right behind the uh, front passenger seat. I'm gonna use that 45 Torx bit and uh, get that off there. Okay, we got that loose. Now we're gonna go on to the next step. I'm gonna take that 45 Torx bit and take this one out here. Uh, this is uh, up at the top here, and then you can see that the belt goes down inside this panel here. Hope you can see that and the light's good enough, but anyway, that's what I'm gonna do right now is take that off. Neighbor's getting ready to take off in his Harley, so you may not be able to hear me. Not that I have anything against Harleys. Okay. Next step now is to get this panel moved. Can you hear me now? He just went around the corner with his Harley, so. Okay, this panel here, we're gonna have to get pulled out uh, to get to the part of the belt that goes down in that hole. And the mechanism, uh, the spring mechanism, where the belt winds, winds up is down inside there. Uh, so we gotta get that pulled out. And there's a couple rivets right here that you have to remove you may have to use a trim tool to pull them out i'm just going to take my just kind of pull on with my nail i think there see and they just they just punch in those they just punch in those holes right there this panel right here i just want to talk about this a little bit um i have seen where guys have taken this entire panel off to me that's harder and what they do is they, they pull down this seat here. Back in here is some, some bolts right here and you would have to take those off. Take this part right here off and then take this entire panel off. But I have done this before and uh, I don't do that. I just, I'm going to pull this panel out. But I just stick my arm down in here with the, uh, with the Torx bit and um, get that bottom uh, spring loaded I don't know what you call it the part of the seat belt that that it spools up in and it's spring loaded is down in here that's what I'm going to do now I want to try and get a camera angle so you guys can see we'll see what happens okay now I'm going to uh, pull this back so I can get this uh, Torx bit in there to get that uh, the spring-loaded uh, spool part of the uh, seat belt out of there. And it kind of kind of fits up into this area right up in here. I think you can see that. And you got to kind of pull down on that. And then it'll come out. now you can get your arm in here with that wrench get that other part out of there and if you if you if you reach your arm up in there you can feel that uh, that Torx nut that you're gonna have to turn to get that uh, spring-loaded spool out of there probably doesn't hurt to have long sleeves on too otherwise you'll scratch your arm up I'm gonna try and get a shot of that in there get a light in there See it right there's the bolt right there and that's the uh, I don't know what they call it but that's the spring loaded where the belt winds in right there I'm pulling on it so I gotta take that bolt out right there and I'm just gonna reach my in my arm there and do that 
Okay, I'm going to put my arm up in there and uh, get that uh, Torx, uh, 45 Torx bit on that bolt and uh, I'm going to wrench that thing out of there. Okay, I got it loose now. I'm gonna get it out of there. Okay, there's a there's a slot right here where the belt goes in. I've got the uh, spring-loaded uh, spool loose now, and so it should come right on out of there. Just slide it through that through that split in the plastic here. Okay, got it out of there. Um, you can see this plastic right here. There's a slot in there that this goes into, and then it lays down, and then you uh, tighten up this Torx bit. Um, I'm not going to shoot video of me putting it back in. I'm just going to. Uh, you just put it in the uh, reverse order as you took it out, and uh, and you should be good to go. So. Once I get this back in there, I'll have a working seat belt, hopefully, in here, and uh, and then I can go store this car. Okay, guys, uh, some final thoughts. Now I'll feel better uh, now that I've got a, a, a new seat belt. And by the way, these things, if you buy these new, they're like 200 bucks. I got this on eBay for like $55, I think, free shipping. So, uh, just keep that in mind. If you buy one of these new, they're outrageous. So anyway, anyway, guys, I hope that this uh, this video helped you. And uh, if it did, give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.